Learn to build a fire right here. Jim Northrup taught me. You know, it's told in our stories that when we pass away and we travel, we need to know how to build a fire. Otherwise, we're not going to be able to go to the other side safely. And so this is where I learned to build a fire right here. And, you know, my grandmother was in the boarding schools. They took everything from her. They took her hair, they took her virginity, and they took the language. They did that so at night, you know, those children couldn't call out for their spirit helpers anymore because they didn't know how to speak the language. It was forbidden. So I came here to learn that. This is where I learned to introduce myself in Anishinaabe Moan so that my ancestors could know me right here in this spot. And when Enbridge started digging, this is the first spot they hit. And they knew what the spot meant to us culturally. You no, know, we would come out here with our elders, our grandmothers, and we would sit around a table learning the language, learning the stories, so much so that we started calling this grandma's table. And when Enbridge started digging, as you can see, they lifted the body of the Rock Nation and they dumped all of it right here on the spot where we were learning to pray. So when I first seen this, I was really angry. I felt like something was taken from me. Because one of the first ceremonies that was performed for me was performed right here. As a survivor of physical, sexual, and domestic assault, I had a ceremony right here with my elders and my language speakers where I learned to forgive. Not my abusers, but myself. I shed so many layers of trauma right here and to see what it is now, to know that this corporation can come in here and do this to our sacred spaces because they have all the money and they don't answer to anyone, breaks my heart. Remember why we're here because we're not here to fight police. We're not here to intimidate workers. We're here for that water. We're here fighting for the foundation that our children and grandchildren are gonna build upon. We're here for those young ones that you'll hear state that they don't wanna have children because of the state of the world. Because we're fighting for that world. We're fighting for that world where people feel safe to bring children in. Thank you.